What's up, Tim KBA? One Tech Traveler back again with another video in the last Shelter Universe. Uh, today, I kind of want to just share a few updates and some new things that have dropped in the game. We've got a brand new skin that we're going to dive into and show you the packs that you need to get, and just some of my thoughts if you think it's a skin you want to go for. Uh, we also have some new creatures that bring new rewards, so I kind of want to share what that looks like. And then finally, the developers have also added some advertisement features in here around the ticket uh, we are currently in doomsday season three and this is week four been a very tough doomsday season so far i will admit uh, for our alliance our team and our state but still pushing through once the season has kind of like concluded uh, then i'll probably share some of my thoughts of that because we all know this is a war game and there's also a lot of diplomacy uh, politics involved and just a lot of action and drama that you don't really hear about that you might find it interesting uh, from my own personal experience and for your enjoyment so if you are new to my channel welcome i mainly talk about gear tech and travel uh, but you'll find all of my last shelter videos in the gaming playlist so check it out on my channel and make sure you join the team kba community by subscribing to my channel okay so the first thing we are going to talk about is the new base skin you can see in the top right uh, it's available for five days and uh, this is what it looks like it's really cool it has that asian temple theme uh, looks like it's got chinese symbols on the top and uh yeah it looks really cool i also found someone in the state that already has it so i'll show you what that looks like like with other base skins that were available previously uh, they have these all new decor packs uh, these give you five chances essentially um to try and pick up the decor pack and you can see for each of the five they can award you random things of course if you're going for the base skin then this is the one that you want it's a permanent one and it's called eternal palace and you can see it does also give you some nice tasty attributes for tactical might and tactical resistance which i'll dive into a, a bit later on uh, we also get uh, the accompanied name tag we also get a chance of one super ticket which is uh, really not worth it if you are looking for super tickets so if you are this isn't the pack to go for but if you don't get the base skin you might also land one super ticket 50 was the medals an advanced ticket and 1k diamonds so um of course it's all about the base skin and then the name tag is also pretty cool too uh, that's going to run you just under 10 pounds and it's also equivalent to uh, 10 us dollars so more expensive in the uk um and you get 2000 diamonds so if you haven't bought base skins before normally the price increases the more times that you buy it so here it'll be 10 pounds for five chances the next one it will probably be 15 or 19 pounds and that'll give you a few more chances maybe eight uh, and then it goes all the way up to like 50 pounds i don't know if it goes to 100 but wouldn't surprise me if it does so if you decide to try a luck on this let me know in the comments down below if you were lucky enough to get it how many uh tickets it took for you to get it and uh yeah congrats if you end up getting this base skin so that is the ticket itself and it's actually see what that looks like in action so if you're not familiar and if you want me to do a video more about the different uh, base skins um let me know i'm happy to do a video to sort of talk a little bit more about them there's some pretty cool ones and uh, this is the new one so this is the eternal palace tactical might and tactical resistance so that is going to affect your hero's combat skills and increase it by three percent so it's going to deal more damage when your hero activates their skills and also reduce the amount of damage that your heroes receive when an enemy hero activates their combat skills that's the tactical resistance part and it's plus three percent so other ones you generally see is like plus five percent like the crimson sky and others which will be and uh, the desert oasis which is a tactical resistance so this one is kind of a balance uh, of both and a slightly reduced buff but three percent is still pretty cool um this is what it looks like inside your base so again looks really cool and i must say they've been putting these base skins out more however this is one of the cooler ones out there so uh 
yeah if there was a base skin that i'd want to go for just for aesthetics i really like this one uh, the moon and rouge just came out recently and that was also clash of zone score plus 10 percent buff which is actually very impressive especially if you struggle on like gathering days if you're a raider or something like that um but some people like to call it more of like a, a nightclub uh, so this one is definitely more on the traditional ancient side if you want something uh, a little bit more distilled Here we go This is what it looks like so uh, found a random guy in our state This is the temple really cool and you can see the uh, Probably the moon at the top that's what it's supposed to be perhaps um, sort of rotating bit of animation with some of the clouds and the trees and uh, we have the flag in that like entrance pedestal with the rabbits as well so pretty cool detailing I will say it's uh, really nice definitely not as menacing as the other base skins like the dinosaur or the um, crimson sky like the mech robots um, but this one is cool nonetheless. So that is the base skin. Next, let's talk about the new event that is running. So that is Horror from the Ruins. This one is quite nice and uh, kind of maybe a bit more relevant to this game considering it's like a zombie apocalypse. So you have these hideous monsters that are uh, dotted. So you have these hideous monsters that have dotted up from the ruins around the world map and uh, you can take them out. It's no different from the other events they've done with like the hungry dinosaurs or anything but this one definitely adds more to that like gritty fighting zombie apocalypse type so a cool one to do and you can see we get a chance to earn a super recruitment ticket and a Jade has a Lunar ticket that can be exchanged. So uh, that runs for four days. And this is the exchange shop. And you can see this runs for 15 days. Um, so here is the mid autumn in Korea. It's called Chusok. You can exchange your tickets either for 200 diamonds, 200 of them, 20 hero tokens for a total of 100. And I uh, definitely recommend going for the hero tokens. Uh, 200 wisdom medals, uh, 1000 courage medals, five super tickets. And then at the top, if you decide to save all these lunar tickets, uh, and find yourself not spending for base skins. Um, these ones are okay. These ones are pretty cool. The only downside is that these are only for 30 days, which is a shame. Um, I think they should definitely give more options for people to attain uh, these permanent skins for free to play players. But but so we also have this reunion key, keys to the mooncake truck. And it looks like it'll be decoration inside your base and that's 100 Luna tickets. So at least we also get an additional landscape decoration. And I think, and I think we might be able to check that out. Here, here we go, mooncake truck. So uh, that looks pretty cool. And uh, if you uh, want to sort of spruce up your base a bit, then, uh, you can do so. I've got a few of the bits that I've unlocked. Honestly, it doesn't cost many diamonds at all. Some trees and the uh, Oasis playground. So that's really cool. And um, yeah, moving back to those monsters. So I think I've done my tiling. So I'm just going to use one. Let's go with these guys just to test it out. On and uh, let's see if they've added them in the zombie features. Nope, so you do have to scout around the map to find them. They're called like patchwork. There we go, patchwork. Don't know how they come up with these names, but you can see very menacing. Let's also get a zoom in on that. Boom. Yeah, there we go. Pretty badass, actually. Much more menacing than the Wendells and the Adjudicators. And we just get a chance for 100k hero EXP and the chips in addition to those ticket exchanges. So let's try it out. 
just want to show you what that looks like and uh, yeah make sure you do these especially for free to play players it's kind of tough with you know using your durability among doomsday but these kind of events you also rely on for getting some of the nicer stuff and the super tickets and stuff so um, try and do some of these in the mix with your tiling all right so we killed that and they come up as a zombie attack so i got 25k cash 10k hero exp 30 chips not bad one courage medal and then we get four jade hair lunar tickets so those are the main things that we want and you can see they are very easy i wish they actually made them more difficult um however they did say in the notes that the levels can change possibly but uh, yeah oh so this event time it runs for five days and but you have a longer time to exchange them ah this is the one this is the one that begins in 10 days frenzied monstrosity and they go up to level 300 so that's the one that i'm actually really looking forward to to seeing um but as sort of like a warm-up we will get those patchwork things we also have mid-autumn beginning in five days so so uh yeah this will open up and i can kind of do an update about that later on and so we have to exchange supply i have four uh, i generally just build them up and then spend them once i've sort of maxed them all out to pick and choose and then finally the last thing that i want to talk about is some of the recent tweaks they've done to the game what they've done recently is make in addition to how you can keep track of all of the you know bits you're doing in the hourly challenges and for clash of zones they've added this pop-up that shows you a meter of how far you are from hitting the chests uh, across both which is pretty good actually and um, so since i've got my three minutes and we're in training day let me just do this and you can see for clash of zones it shows that i'm on my way to my ninth box and uh, if I do some of the training stuff, there we go. You can see we get hourly. If you do, if you do actions that contribute to both, then you'll see both of them pop up. But that's quite a nice thing when, especially for like Hero Day, if you're trying to measure all of the amount of wisdom medals you are using, uh, EXP tickets, um, this kind of shows you a nice meter as you're going on without needing to exit in and out and lose the time, especially if you're trying to time it and double dip in the challenges. You just have to wait a few seconds if you do want to take a screenshot or pull all of the tickets and see everything. It does pop up in the beginning, so just something to bear in mind for, for Hero Day. But that's a nice change and a positive one. Another one that's kind of like twofold um, on your opinions, they did start introducing advertisements into the game, so kind of a hit on miss depending how you view it but there is some value from them including it and it's not too bad either so you mainly see it in the advanced recruitment section um i already did it yesterday and there is a cooldown period of like one day or something you get the chance to view an advertisement and it automatically pulls an advanced recruitment ticket so you can't just like store them by watching them a couple of days and then using them all up in hero day um you just get the chance to view three a day and then that gives you additional tickets for hero day or just some extra goodies that you pull from it so pretty good uh, they don't have it for super tickets not unexpected but that would have been a nicer way again for free to play players that uh, don't spend to just have another avenue of getting these super tickets beyond all of the normal ways and if you want to see how you can get those super tickets make sure you watch my video that talks about all of the best ways to maximize your super ticket growth and then there is one more place which is much more hidden uh, where they show the advertisements and that is in the stereo for the cash. So when we play it, you get this chest and uh, here you can see we have three options. So I actually got quite a good one which is a 75k cash. I can either just choose to claim that 
75k. If I have arm supply, then I can open it and it'll give me 150k. But if I don't have arm supply, then I can choose to view an advertisement. So I'm going to do that to just double it up, but I'm going to uh, skip that so it's not interrupting. All right, so I finished watching it and that gave me two of those boxes. So I got 150k. So those are the two updates that they've done to the game uh, with advertisements, uh, a positive step with tracking your Clash of Zones and hourly challenge uh, boxes. Let me also just do one more here. And there we go. So uh, again, those are really nice actually. And that is kind of it, what I wanted to show you for uh, the latest updates in this video. Really looking forward to seeing this frenzied monstrosity, like level 300. These kind of things that should happen more frequently and just a variety besides the Wendor, just to add a bit more as you start getting like maxed heroes, parts and so forth. So if you'd like to see that, let me know in the comments and uh, I'll do an update to sort of talk about what that looks like. So that is the latest update from the Last Shelter Universe. I'm One Tech Traveler. Like always, join the Team KBA community to see more awesome videos like this and uh, check out more of the Last Shelter videos in my gaming playlist. And you can find all of my articles and guides around Last Shelter on my website. So check it out at OneTechTraveler.com to help you with your heroes, Clash of Zones, uh, parts, and just playing smart while enjoying the game. So, see you in the next video, but until then, keep being awesome. Peace.